Coach, the obviously two halves entirely different, very much offensive struggles in that first half, second half, completely different, over 50%. How do you gauge something like that? I think we're a new team, and we knew this would be a really hard game. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy for our guys, proud of them. Uh, it was not an easy, you know, when you scheduled them, especially as an opener, and you're trying to figure things out. It, it probably wasn't the best decision on my part, but um, it, it's good for us. We fought through it. We, we guarded the heck out of them. Um, happy for the guys, happy for Gene. So now he doesn't have to get all the calls from his buddies back in North Dakota asking what the heck's wrong with their basketball program. Um, so it was, it, was, it was good on, for that part. But I, I thought we moved the ball in the second half. I thought the start of the game, we had good flow. We did some good things. But then I thought we got sticky fingers and we tried to make plays on our own. And it was, it wasn't, there weren't many possessions in the first half. You know, we, we got them the shot clocks a bunch of times. And so now when you have limited possessions and then we come down and Xavier takes a tough one, Cardi takes one, Max tries to drive when there's nothing there. Then, you know, somebody else, you know, so now we have five, six, seven bad possessions. They didn't score for what, seven minutes and a half? But we didn't score either. So, but you know, until Cardi makes a couple plays at the end, we get it to one. Come back, that, you know, come back out. I thought we settled down. We showed them on the board. We're one for twelve from three. Why not dominate twos? We win thirty-four to fourteen in the paint. So, I think just kind of figuring it out as a team. I like what the young guys did, and I like that. Obviously, Mac double double Cardi with twenty some. But our young guys made plays. Dejuan's three, and Monty gets a putback. Levi goes in and makes a couple of plays. Mike makes a big three, all in that stretch that, that helped us get it out a little bit, get the lead where we were a little bit comfortable. Uh, you kind of hit on this in your last answer, but outside of the offense of the first half, did you still like you know, the effort? You gave up 22 points, yeah, all that kind of I stuff? I mean, they only have 22, and they don't score, what, six and a half, seven minutes to end a half. So, that, and I guess – a lot of times when you don't score, you let down on defense, but our guys didn't. And, you know, we talked about our play hard. We had to dominate that, and it was 36-22 uh, that it was, and Xavier led us on it. We talked about three-point shooting. They're, one of, they're a really good three-point shooter team. We hold them to 28% from three. And then we talked about assist turnovers. We end up – we're at four at halftime, mm -hmm. and then we end up with 10. So – or 14, 10 more in the second half. So, little – obviously, you make baskets – you get assists, but I thought we moved the ball better and made better reads and better plays, um, and so you you made some progress. And you know now now we got to go to Vegas, so it's it's not going to be easy for these guys. And uh, you know we're going to learn a lot about our team in the first week. Just how much did did Cardi really spark you guys when you needed it offensively? Well, he, you know he he's got to he can score and and. Uh, but, he, you know, I don't need 21 shots. I, I think, you know, if he gets 20-some points, 23 on 16 shots, um, I think that's probably better, 15 shots. So a couple of those threes, a couple times getting to the hoop, get to the free throw line, they're in foul trouble. You know, make them guard us, and, and he's got to make a little better decisions on those uh, plays. But, uh, you know, he, he got us going at the end of the half. Um, he's, he struggled early. He really didn't play great if you look at the exhibition games. And, and you know, he, I think those two buckets at the end of half, we got him the first play in the second half. You know, now X makes a shot. Now we get flowing. And, uh, but to me, the best play might have been Cardi passing to Mac on the lobby, made the right read. And now against their defense, that, that's there all day, but you got to make the right read and play. You feel like you made a uh, uh – Took more rhythm shots and rhythm threes I in the think, second half? I, I believe so. I, you know, stepping into them, the other ones, uh, just we didn't, we didn't have much rhythm on it at all. And then I think guys just were trying to make plays on their own instead of playing together. And we got better and better as it went on. So, I, you know, Montavious, again, I don't think he, you know, stats are, you know, two points, six rebounds. But, you know, he had to guard a lot of different spots. It's hard for a freshman against a team like that that plays small ball, plays a little unorthodox. Uh, they got some good players, and I thought, you know, that's why Monte got the most minutes, 33 minutes, because he was very, very solid. Then he gets a big put back down the stretch. All those little plays are, are you know, difference makers in the game.
It seemed like all the newcomers were part of the rotation tonight. What did you think of all of them tonight? I thought they did really well. Days one is, what, three for three? Two for two makes a three. You know, his the turnovers just kind of forcing a little bit. He's got to learn when to go. I thought he was really good. at. He has to guard 24 as a freshman against an experienced senior that knows how to play. Um, I thought he did a great job. And they, we switched a couple times at the right times in the second half. Um, you know, Monte I just talked about. And, and Antonio, he, you know, he's got to learn that practice is important. And, and, he's, and he, if he figures that out, he's a good player. And he's got a lot of a talent. But he, he just doesn't have great practices. And now I asked him after, what did you learn? I hope he would say, I got to prepare better and be, you know, and, and, and he, I think he will. He, he's got a chance. And it's, I say, I give credit to Monte because it's hard to guard all those guys and their movement and all that stuff. And then I thought David Sloan was very, very solid. Uh, and that's why, that's why we took him, you know, we knew he could help us when we get him and Cardi. That allows Cardi to roam. We can get him in some, you know, instead of just, 10 eyes staring at him, you know, we can get Cardi moving a little bit and David delivering. And then McCall, uh, he double had, double, yeah. you know, two in a row. Uh, it's great. I, you know, and, and only one turnover. I thought he forced a couple times where he could have went to the basket, and make them foul him. But, uh, we made, he's definitely made progress since that first exhibition game. And, you know, if he can, you know, I, I he should have a great motor all the time. He's so athletic. He can run, he can jump. He just got to not – I think sometimes he fights himself. He wants to do too much. Just let the game come. Just how much was getting to the basket an emphasis in the second half? It was an emphasis in the first half. They just didn't – you know, it didn't happen. And, you know, we, we told them we had to turn the corner, put them in a bind, and, and we did a better job of that. And, you know, it started with Cardi, but we had other guys that got in the paint and made some good plays. I think David Sloan's the one who got – had the assist to Dejuan on the baseline – you know, and that when we move that basketball, um, you know, in practice, we're we're pretty good, and we have a lot of different weapons. Obviously, you know, you talked about Cardi with the 21 shots that he took, but what are you seeing out of him as far as being able to assume more of a leadership role this season and in kind of getting the troops going like he was able to tonight? Well, I think Xavier is is our leader. He's decided he wants to be the. The vocal guy, a lot like Barry, he knows, um, you know, what he's, – he's the one talking. And, I mean, you could ask the players. Cardi's more the – you know, he's the guy on the court that's going to go make the plays. And, you know, I, and again, somebody said, what do you like about Cardi? Six assists, one turnover. And if you look at his exhibition numbers, not – they were not that. And so that was positive. And, uh, you know, like I said, a few less, few less shots and um, take what the defense gives you. And, uh, you know, he, he's, you know, he can make some plays. He's a good player. There's no doubt. Um, you know, he, he probably thinks I held him back last year. But uh, he'll have his chance this year. He's just got to be efficient. All those guys got to. Hey, Montavious, what was it just like to not only play in your first real game but get your first start? Um, it, was a, it was a great moment, you know, just – I just told myself I was gonna come out here and play hard. Um, I just want to make sure I play hard at everybody on the court, and I feel like I did that, and we came out with the dub, so it was nice. How do you think you held up over that long of a span, all those minutes? Oh, it was great. You know, um, we do a lot of conditioning, so I actually felt my body was really good today, so it was, I felt great. Cardi, what did you like most about your own game today? I'm a big critic of myself, so I'm not gonna say I like it a lot, but uh, I guess just you know being able to get down downhill, I say, uh, settle for a lot of jumpers when I could have you know kept going downhill. That was that was working for me a lot, but uh, you know just learn from that watching film after and you know seeing more of attacking lanes that I had and more uh, since I could have you know got to my teammates there a lot. At the uh, at the end, they were closing out on me. I get by my man a lot. Of, a lot of help came because probably more lobs or I'm gonna kick out for threes. Can you, uh, can you break down the uh, alley oop to Mac you had? And then I also noticed when you threw it up, you jumped. When you threw it up, is that a conscious thing or is that just habit? Well, 
um, we were gonna run a different. It was another play that was gonna be more of a lob look, but the big, the big stepped up that time, which he really usually sagged down, and I just kind of read it and, and threw it up, and it was more like a Mac better get this. That's why I did an extra jump, but he got it, and it was just you know a great play, great read. Uh, for for Monty, I imagine like any freshman, there's probably ups and downs. Uh, could you imagine a month ago that in the first game you'd lead the team in minutes and start and play as much as you did? Um, no, I, w I didn't imagine, but um, it was it was crazy. But I just went out there and just had to play with the team, and uh, the defense, the defense and offense, just made sure everything was straight. So it was fun. Cardi, when the team was really struggling offensively there in the first half, I guess just how much ownership do you take right now in being the guy that can spark the team offensively? Um, I put a lot of you know pressure on myself. I like to also uh, go back, and I've spoken to you know Barry and, and Cam and Dean, just you know about that leadership role, and I know I know what I'm capable of offensively. So uh, yeah, I do take uh, you know uh, responsibility for that. And it was just more of, you know, we weren't uh, making the easy plays. We were, you know, taking a lot of threes. I know we were, at the halftime, we were one for 12. So, you know, I mean, I would like to say, you know, if we, the first six ain't falling, we just need to, you know, try to, you know, dig deep and get in the paint, which was working. I got layups early. That was how I got my, my points uh, to end the half. And, you know, Mac had a, you know, good night going in the basket. He noticed that, you know, the, the jump shot wasn't falling. So we got to keep, you know, dominating twos. That's what Coach stresses all the time, you know, dominating twos. And our two-point two, uh, two field goal percentage was really high. And, uh, you know, if we, if we cut down on the threes, we would have shot a lot better overall. Hey, Cardi, how do you think uh, David played the point today? I think, he played, I think he played well. You know, I mean, we needed that, 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 uh, that kick. I mean, that push down when Mike got the open three, that was huge. We needed to, to extend the lead and stuff like that. And uh, he's just a, a, a really good offensive player, um, pushing the ball. He does what, you know, coach wants us to do, and that's push the ball. I mean, we didn't have a lot of transition buckets this game because they only sent, like, I think, two to the, to the glass. And there a lot of them, um, you know, sat back. But he found the, uh, the opening, and he, he created that momentum that we needed. And then uh, what do you think, coach, what do you think uh, – we could see from X going forward as far as just both sides. Uh, you know, he, again, he led us on the play hard. He, he guards 24. He got a little bit of foul trouble. Um, you know, I, I, again, don't settle. Uh, shoot the rhythm threes, get to the basket, get rebounds, get putbacks, just do everything. And that's, that's where he's got to, you know, take a lot of pride in it. So, um, it, you know, it wasn't for him. I'm sure he's not real happy you know or satisfied but I know he's happy because we won the game and that's the most important thing that's what I stress to these guys you know the guys that have been here have to lead the guys that haven't been here they got a foul and our whole goal is that we have success on the court and win the game and that's that's what happened it's a good win for our guys and now we see if we have the maturity to come back and go on the road and, and against the you know a Another, their new team, new coach. It's different than this, but they're still for us to go there. They'll be, they'll play at a high level. And then Montavious, you didn't have to do it much, but when you when you did have to step in at the five, how'd you feel playing the five today? Um, I felt great. You know, um, I always practice in practice. I go to five sometimes just in case that situation happens, and I felt like I was, I played great in that position today. So yeah. Hey, Montavious, so first college game for you. What's the first thing you notice about the game, whether it was the feeling or something maybe you didn't expect that, that kind of came at you when it started? Um, I'd definitely just say, like, just the energy. Uh, the game was just fast, quick, you know, just just trying to make sure I, f I just fed it in, and I felt like I did that, so it was, it was great. Um, well, we, we both like, we both can shoot it. We both can get in there. So I felt like when we both get in, we just, we just feed off each other and just make sure that when we see one another, that we just make sure that we both, uh, um, uh, you know, just grab the opportunity. Carton, you have such a love for the game. I enjoy watching you play. Um, 
talk about just that desire to win and, and not lose the season opener and just kind of set the tone for maybe the expectations that you have for yourself this year. Well, um, my goal is, you know, I mean, I know that since I've been playing here at K-State, uh, I've been a winner. My first year, Elite Eight, second year, uh, Big 12 championship, and I plan on uh, continue to win. And that's why I want my, my legacy to, you know, to be here. And I know that everybody wants to win. And, and my thing is the little things. I know we held them to uh, like 28%, but we could have held them to 15%, you know, closing out, you know, not letting that big, you know, get certain shots. And that's just, you know, what I, what I like to, you know, harp on the guys is, you know, the, the little details. He didn't make the shots when we, when we closed down and had hands on him. So I was just, you know, trying to, you know, let everybody know that that's what we need to do. And then, of course, you know, we're going to make mistakes in the game, but we just want to minimize those mistakes. And, of course, winning <coughs> is the biggest goal. If I didn't have – I wouldn't – I would have been just as excited or if I, didn't, if I had five, four points, you know what I mean? A, a win is a win, and that's, that's, the most, that's the most important thing. And winning brings those, those accolades that everybody wants. So when you lose, nobody pays attention to you. Cardi, you know, I, I noticed on your uh, step back three, you landed on both feet at the same time. Is that an adjustment to the new rule this year? Or? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's what they, uh, they said, that, you know, you can't uh, double tap with one. You know, the displacement call, it's a, it's a couple of calls that they, they said that you can't do. Um, so I just adjusted with that. I, I, I wish I was able to push, pull out that other, that other step back because it does create a lot of space, and that's why they said that for the advantages. But. You know, just made an adjustment, but you know, the three ball wasn't falling like I wanted it to. But um, uh, just happy that we got the W, of course. Bruce, I was just wondering on that that really controversial foul they called on on Cardi, where you got pretty irritated. Were you were you maybe trying to get a technical? Just no, I just trying to get our guys excited and get you know get their, get them going, and uh, it, it's tough. Every you know, those are tough calls, and you know, I, I you know, it's. Some, you block the shot, a lot of times they allow people contact after you block that shot, but he saw something different. And, you know, I know the crowd was sure when they saw the replay, they weren't too happy, but, um, you know, it, it just get our guys excited, get them going, and get a little bit of energy. We, you know, I didn't think we had great emotion and, and excitement at Washburn game and thought we played pretty intense to now. Now can get a day of rest and uh, come back and, you know, get ready for Vegas on the road and have, play with that same energy and enthusiasm. Anything else for these guys? Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody have a great night. Yep.